Our gospel text of today is taken from the gospel of Matthew chapter 18 verses 21 to 35 and is part of Matthew's community discourse. In these verses, Jesus tells a parable and invites us to reflect on it and to act as we think is right. And the parable is about two debtors. There is one who owes his king 10,000 talents. The word 10,000 talents is such an enormous amount that it is unimaginable. To give us an idea of how much 10,000 talents would be, the gross income of Herod the Great, who was the Herod at the time of the birth of Jesus, from all his territories in and around Galilee, was 900 talents a year. The gross annual income of Herod the Great was 900 talents a year. This means that for Herod the Great, it would take 11 years and more to earn a gross amount of 10,000 talents. And there is a debtor who owes his king this amount. And the debtor comes and kneels before the king and pleads with him, promising the king that he will pay back, which is impossible. The king realizes this and simply, not because of the merit of the debtor, but because of the graciousness of the king, the king forgives him this enormous debt. And the man is grateful, but his gratitude is superficial. His gratitude is verbal. His gratitude is not translated into action. And this is seen because immediately after he leaves the presence of the king, having received the king's forgiveness, he cannot forgive. He meets another who owes him a measly 200 denarii. When 200 denarii is compared with 10,000 talents, 200 denarii is so, so insignificant. Yet, the one who was forgiven 10,000 talents will not let go. He catches his own servant by the throat and refuses to forgive him refuses to forgive the debt, refuses to give time to the fellow servant to pay. He had pleaded with his king. The fellow servant pleads with him. The king forgave him, but he cannot translate that forgiveness into action. And he puts his fellow servant who owes him 200 denarii into prison. Other servants who are around See this, notice this, and they make a report to the king. The king then calls the one who owed him 10,000 talents and tells him to his face that if he really had accepted the king's forgiveness, if he really had shown that he was forgiven, he ought to have done it by forgiving. And that is why his forgiveness is now taken back. The forgiveness which the king gave him is taken back simply because he was unable to forgive another. It is so very easy for us to want to be forgiven by others when we say that we are sorry. However, a true apology is shown in action. And this action is first, we avoid repeating the reason why we have hurt the person and have to ask for forgiveness. We make sure that we do some repatriation. We make sure we do some restitution as much as we can. But what is more important is that we must be able 
to forgive those who come to us for forgiveness. Is there unforgiveness in your heart today? Will you dare to let it go so that the Lord might forgive you and you might be aware of that forgiveness?